So today I'm going to be playing Light Matter uh, by a company called Tunnel Vision Games. Uh, I saw the trailer a few days ago and immediately thought, I need to try this. This looks cool. So their description says, a first-person puzzle game where shadows kill you. And I know in the trailer it mentioned it's basically like a uh, The Floor is Lava game, which explains my title for the for my stream. Um, I hope it's good. I've watched a few minutes of other people playing, but I didn't want to get too spoilery. Um, I mean, not even a few minutes. It was like probably a minute. But it looks cool. It looks neat. So I guess we just get started. Here we go. That green sign there looks a lot like the ones in, uh, what was that game called? Oh man. Super liminal. I wonder, is that like a asset that is just like widely available? I don't know. All right, so what do we got? We got lots of shakiness. The art style is like really simple, but also really complex at the same time. I dig it. Okay. Actually, can I interact with that panel? No, doesn't appear so. All right, what do we got? Okay. That, is that wet or is that just reflective? I don't know, I don't know. Static. Is the game quiet? It seems a little quiet. Let's see if I can pump that up a little bit. Okay. Down we go. Okay, so this is glowing, which means I, which I assume that means it's interactable. So what is this? Okay, E to interact works for me. Um, got some furniture. <laughs> Light Matter Technologies, okay. So that's the name of the company. Got it. Interesting. Okay, space bars jump. Pretty standard control so far. I'm good with that. Um, we got some balloons. There's some kind of party happening. So what happened to this party? Wow. Doesn't look great. Looks like they had a bad day. Oh, what? Seems like their launch event did not go too well. Uh huh. Okay. Keep mo keep on moving. Uh. It appears we found a dead end. Can I make that? I can. Okay. Just climb right up. Am I actually climbing, or am I, am I just jumping? Seems like I can climb ledges. That's cool. Was not expecting that. Ooh. This is how the Xbox One launched too? Oof. Lots of broken walls and stuff scattered all over the floors. I hope not. What is this thing? 
some kind of like reactor. Huh. It's neat looking. Open. <laughs> do I dare? Do I jump in the hole? Do I do it? Yeah, I think I'm doing it. Oh, well that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> okay. So that's a pretty standard symbol. What the heck does that mean? <laughs> Some alien text. Hello. Why do you have rocks on your head? <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Um Unbelievable. There's more of you. Uh, were you a part of the public tour? If so, I have just evacuated your tour guide. Don't panic. Oh. Now, your inability to follow evacuation orders is truly astounding, but I need you to pay attention. First off, walk through that door. I actually saw a point over here. Nice. Um, so this is interesting. It looks like a, uh, like an extension cord, right? Like, that end clearly looks like an extension cord. But, there's like, no plugs here. Just, hexagon holes. Octagon? Octagon. I can count. Eight sides there. Excellent. You have already exceeded my expectations. Okay, so knowing what this game's about, the shadows are lava, essentially, and I'm seeing darkness here. Is this gonna hurt me? No, it's not. Okay. So, I guess we're not to that point in the game yet. Man, even the vending machine got a good shake. Just give it a good, good bop. Try and get something out of it. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Let's Wait, go through the it's dark in there. Yeah, it is. Um, you might trip. Let me light your path. The door requires two people to reopen. Proceed to my security manager's office. Alright, so the walls are opening up. Is this door gonna go? Or do I have to... Oh, okay. There's this way. Got it. Got it. The long way around. Oh, look at the kitty. Huh. Have you guys ever tried to use this kind of keyboard? They kind of suck. Uh, I'm sure I'd get used to it. What? What kind of weird stuff do they have at this place? Alright, alright. What time is it? Uh, 3.15? Okay. Now, I presume you know how buttons work. Buttons? Uh-huh. I can handle buttons. I'm good at buttons. I know buttons. Do I push the button? Huh? You know what this guy reminds me of? You had to once push the left. button. Had to once what? I already forgot what I asked. Anyways, uh, this silhouette right here totally reminds me of the... What was that game show with Howie Mandel? Uh, Deal or No Deal? Yeah. He's like the banker. Uh, anyways. If you continue like this, I might just hire you to mop the floor. Now scurry along, and you will reach the elevator to the exit. It's simple. Simple. Oh, the keyboard. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I remember doing tech support for my grandparents at their place, and they had a keyboard like that. And it was just the most awkward thing to type on. Which, it also kind of taught me that the way that I type, albeit fast, uh, was wrong. Because I kept trying to use like my left hand to type keys on the right side and vice versa. Um, I know it's difficult not to stare at the scientific wonder that is light matter. But the launch event is over. 
Don't worry, my facility is sturdy. Get to the elevator. Elevator, elevator. What are those? ATMs, copying machines? I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. Is that that looks like the elevator? So what is over here? Just gotta be thorough. Looks like a whole lot of nothing. Just a couple doors. In the elevator. Pull the lever. Excellent. The elevator will take you directly to our outpost. When you get there, journalists will immediately try to put words in your mouth. Hmm. But stand strong and tell them that Virgil, the CEO of Light Matter Technologies, saved your life. And Hi, Virgil. The side effects are under control. Goodbye. Can't stay forever. Hurry up and get sucked into the ground. I'll do my best. Oh. That looks neat. Uh oh. That's not good. Okay. Okay. Hey, creator. What's up? We're playing the floor's lava. Or light matter. Alright, so this is a very dark room. Am I gonna die immediately? Uh, yeah, there's no way to go out here, but it's dark, so I'm pretty sure this is the way I want to go. That's cool. Can you hear me? I can. Shadows are dangerous. Stay away from the shadow. I get it. Ooh. Is there some kind of like quarry underneath their underneath their but on blah, 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 their building? <laughs> Okay. I see green. That's probably an exit sign. So I'm probably headed that way. The lava is floor. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. I gotta do this for science, right? I gotta do it for science. I got dead. Okay. So, I assume I need to jump it. There we go. For science. All right, so can I land on that box or is it okay? Light turned on. That answered my question. Oh no, oh no. Okay, I get it. So some some things are timing based. Shoot, no. <laughs> All right. It's also a game of patience. Dun, 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 and go. Hey. All right. I have a feeling we're going to need to go here later cuz that looks interesting. All right. And we'll probably be going here too at some point. Maybe not. Can't jump in there. Maybe later I can. This is neat so far. Excellent. It's working. So, Simple is no longer an option, neither for you nor for me. This was a monumental failure on behalf of my elevator technicians. But don't worry, you will reach the exit of this facility and they will reach the end of their employment. An escape plan is in development. Until then, keep in mind that the shadows can kill you. Think the floor is lava, mm -hmm. just with shadows that absorb organic material. I'm pretty sure that line was in the first trailer that I saw. So, um, so is this a sign showing how to glue fingernails on? Cause that's normal. All right. Okay. So everything around you might look bizarre through your eyes, but it all has a purpose. In this room, we wash crystals with over a thousand bars of pressure. If it helps your comprehension, you may call it the power shower. Power shower. Okay. 
So immediately I notice that there's two different panels I can interact with. The question is, which one do I use? Obviously I get to this one first, so I would think this one, so let's try it. Okay, so that puts the whole thing in shadow. We don't want that. So what happens if I do it from the other side? Is it the same thing? Oh, it moves the top one into the light, presumably. All right, let's, oh, now that's a, mmm. Now the bottom is in shadow. Interesting. If you think moving a platform is so, fascinating, you'll think do this one, you then one go over the top. Maybe? Uh... And then this one. No. I think I did that wrong. Um, let's go back up top. Okay, okay. That works, that works. And exit. elevator dropped you to the center of the mountain, and the only functioning exit is at the top. Follow the green exit signs, and you'll get there. Okay. Just do exactly as I say, and you will be fine. If you want to complain about that, well, I can't hear you. Just realize how fortunate you are. You've extended your tour through Light Matter Technologies. Alright, so I be jumping. Let's go. And then this is going to rotate that. Okay. It's unfortunate that the board voted against installing microphones throughout the facility. Their main concern being ethical ramifications. Good thing we still have cameras. Is this right? I want to switch that back for some reason. I'm not sure. Um, okay, so now that's, can I make that jump? I don't know if I can or not. I can. Okay. Easy peasy. This is Stanley 2.0. Well, as far as like the way that there's a narrator and it's a first person point of view type game, sure, but it's not looping through different, at least not yet. It's, this is more of like a, from what I can tell, like a portal oh, or a super liminal kind of thing. There. Pick it up. Okay. So this, maybe? Alright, so what does this do? Okay. That lights that path, cool. And can I jump that? I don't know. Seems like a bit of a jump. Let's go for it. All right, fair enough. Handy, isn't it? It is handy. Groups called it heavy and clunky. I called them weak and stupid. Yeah, I can't In jump the hands on of a capable this. miner. That lamp turns into one of their finest tools. Okay, so. Now the Okay, I can pick it up and put it down. But I can't jump while I'm carrying it. So let's try and oh I can't go back now. Ooh. This is interesting. Can I put it here? Jump back across. And then pick it up? No, I gotta be close to pick it up. Hmm. That's interesting. I didn't miss anything back here, did I? Nope. Okay. So I'm gonna need to figure out where to place it that lets me get 
somewhere. I don't even know where yet. Okay. Interesting. Waited too long to jump. Okay. Let's try this again. What? Uh oh. Okay, we made it. So, maybe have it pointing this way? No, because then I can't get back. Ooh. Oh wait, I just need to point it that way and jump over. I'm overcomplicating. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool. And what is this one control? Nice, rotates the whole platform. And that lights up that path there. So I can go up and over. Wait, where was the exit? Over here somewhere, right? I don't know where the green sign went. Okay. Listen, I know that the shadows might look intimidating to you. A deep black obsidian-like tar that will devour you whole. Gotta get better at my jumping. just simple gravity-bound anomalies. A temporary side effect of light matter. You see, all of mankind's greatest breakthroughs what? had their kinks, and these kinks are manageable. Oof. If they weren't, I wouldn't be here in the facility fixing them. Oh, it's moving. Is that what was happening? I see. I see. Meow. Let's get through here before it starts moving on me again. Alright. Ooh, okay. Jump! Yeah, this is really cool so far. I like it. Uh, I like how even the sh in the shadows you can still make out the details because of the, the way they have stuff outlined. Alright, so. We're going this way. And then... Grab you. And bring you over here. And jump. You know that I was the first to wander through these caves? Although I came here with my former partner, Arthur, I was the one who discovered the photon crystals. You might have heard that the side effects of those same crystals cost me my leg. Wrong. I conquered a mountain for the first photon crystal, Sheer persistence and willpower cost me my leg. Small price to pay for light matter. It's dedicated. I like it. Okay, so now... That's not going to quite get me there. So can I move one of these? Hmm. That work? Missing something? <laughs> Getting closer. Remember, light is not your only resource. You also have your brain. Let's hope it's enough. Okay, so I'm curious if there's either a light that I. Oh, I can't get back there. Wait. <laughs> Did a platform, like, crumble under my weight or something? What happened? Okay. So there's gotta be... Either... Better places to put things. Another thing I'm just not finding. Or some way to pass a previous one through somewhere. Or something. Or mirrors. That could also be interesting. A way to like bounce the light. There's a thing to the left. Am I receiving hints? Um. 
Do you mean, like, do I want people to give me hints? If so, uh, not yet. What is this? Hmm. Yeah, you can't jump with the lights. I'm wondering if I'm just, like, not seeing something because it's dark. Whoops. Did it again. Same thing. Okay, so why is that still lit up? Everything else is dark, except for that. What's this doing? It's like breathing. That's weird. What's up, lopers? How's it going? Huh. This is very interesting. Okay, this might be a crazy idea. But just kind of like... Wait. It doesn't work. Ah, wait. Shoot this one backwards at that light. You got that dumb castle built in Mario Maker 2? Nice. Okay, so now I can bring this light forward. Grab this one. Shine it backward. This works. There we go. Look at me puzzling good. All right, we're out. Ah, there it is. Achievement unlocked. Now, since you've missed your tour, that giant beam of light you see is light matter. The source of that beam we call the core. A collection of massive photon crystals. It is so powerful that it shakes the very foundation of this facility. I still remember my first successful prototype. The beam seemed so solid, it looked like light had become matter. I built on that, and now look at it. A sustainable and renewable energy source that will save humanity. Yes, the launch today failed. But these shadows will not deter me from bringing light matter into fruition. You want me to go touch it? I think that's a bad idea. Um, I, I, I kind of value my hands. That looks like it would be very, very dangerous. Ooh. Ooh. Like, I like that that looks like it could totally be like a wallpaper or something to now promote that the game. I think about it. No hands, Where just look it. you during the launch event? Take a bite? All Oof. guests were taken directly to the tram. So you must have snuck away somehow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What exactly were you doing? Oh, I, I, was, Wait, I was taking a nap. Are you a health and safety inspector? <laughs> the irony that you didn't notice the blaring sounds and flashing lights. That's the problem with safety procedures. They can never be idiot-proof. All right, let's go check out what this is. This red button over here. Boop. Okay. Open in paths. And oh, can I actually like input? No, that's not a thing. Exits over there. There's a path over there. Looks like another button there. Dun 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 dun. There's something over here. I like that I don't have to have light all the way across. 
Um, okay, so how would I get light over here just so I can get those? That's interesting. Since there's not really a path to carry a light across. Hmm. Machine broke? Oh, oh. There we go. Okay. But... Hmm, okay. That door be closed. And the button is currently Inspector, not a button. I regret that during the launch event, bankers, investors, and government officials died. But there are things one cannot predict. Shadows devouring people being one of them. Alright. So... What happens if I do this again? Close this back up. Oh, if I close this one though, does it open the other one? Does that look open now? It looks the same from here. Let's go double check. Okay, still closed. I can't interact with that from here though. Nope. Okay. Hmm. Waiting for a dude made of shadows to start chasing me? Oh man. I don't think this is that type of game. But I would not be disappointed if it was. That would that would be uh stressful and exciting at the same time. Okay, okay. Need to get a light over there. Um, 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 um. So I can only really take this one that far. But Well, maybe, I see, I see, I take this one around, uh, let's try and do this without dying, okay, then put that light there, jump back, grab this one, oh shoot, okay. Gotta do that a little smarter. I think I have the right idea though. Alright, um. Orientation's thrown off now. Which light is this? Where? Okay, I see where I am. So if I use this one, kind of back here to fill this whole area. And then do the opposite for this. Then I can take this one, bring it over here, and have it be the one that fills this room. And then I can carry this one forward. <laughs> I keep trying to see what happens if I swan dive into the shadows. Well, yeah. Oh, jeez. Gotta pay more attention to where I'm backing up into. All right. Push button. Now that opens that side, so now I gotta, like, undo what I just did. I know what you're thinking, Inspector, and no, this is not the natural state of the facility. Making assumptions is the act of the misinformed and the paranoid. Okay, I think we're good. I might need to go back and get that other one, but I think I think we're I think we're okay. Okay, so that just opens and closes that door. Right, I already pushed that. So now I'm just home free. All right. Open sesame. So, health and safety inspector, let me do your job for you.
You see that giant piece of metal moving back and forth? I do indeed. It's a top grade mineral decontaminator. I installed it as soon as I heard that my employees were losing their hair. Once installed, cellular degradation fell by 37%. Hmm. Interesting way to uh, give story reasons for a thing that blocks my light. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Okay, so I'm gonna die soon. For your information, saving humanity puts a lot of stress on my workers, as do my 12 hour work days. Point is, there are many reasons for hair loss. Okay, so. I assume that means there's no way to get a light across that. I don't think I'd need it in there, but that looks interesting. There's a lot of geometry going in this game, and I'm curious how much of it is actual stuff and how much of it is just noise to distract me. I'm guessing a lot of it is the latter. Okay, yeah, so it's just another one of those. So maybe it becomes Inspector. active at some point. I installed a fence around that decontaminator uh, okay. so twice. My employees keep tearing it way. down to bet money on how many times they can run back and forth before the decontaminator closes. Oh. One mm. of them bragged to me about his record of six. I told him that I was impressed and fired him. Yeesh. Oh, that's what those are? All right, so I gotta figure out how to get this light. Oh, I see. When it opens up, I can move it over here. And then just get in that light real quick. And that'll get me over here. Okay. Excellent. Our time together is almost at an end. Oh no. There's a bridge right around the corner. Cross it and you will be on a direct path to Sunshine. And my security manager, James. Oh yes, he was evacuated as well. <laughs> I wouldn't dare risk his health and safety. Stop lying to me, man! Okay. So... Be careful with my lamps. At Light Matter Technologies, we treat our inanimate objects with respect. Not like those monsters of aperture science. <laughs> oh, the portal references. Nice. I like it. Alright, so I can get my lamp back this way. Oh, it's gonna break. Oh, wait, it's not even on the thing. So I gotta put it back on the thing to get it back. The thing. I'm using my fancy word. The conveyor? The... The moving... Oh, wait, that's not a... It's not a lamp. But... I can put this on there. Right. So now if you're wondering why I built a lab inside a mountain, resilience. Can it was I... here before me, and it will be here after me. Just look around you, Inspector. We had an unprecedented event, and this living, breathing monument to science still stands. Is there a way to put the lamp on the platform while illuminating the platform? So I can write, I can take it across. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so. Gotta backtrack a little bit from what I was thinking. Because I assume I'm gonna need both lamps. Maybe not, though. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. Let's go this way and just take a look. Okay, yeah, definitely need more light. So. How do I get meeting James, a lamp on that platform? Don't be too intimidated by his physique. He is the human equivalent of this mountain. Well-built, dependable, and resilient. So I can't get them across this gap. I can put that here and send it across. But then there's no way to get back. Or is there?
Oh, wait. Mm, I don't think it would come far enough because I was thinking maybe I could put it in a position to where the light will shine through once it's over there. I don't think so. You know, James mm -hmm. is a useful man. During the What's evacuation, shot, he was tossing people over shadows to safety. Yes, risks were involved, but he saved people. We share the same philosophy in that regard. Okay. Let's go back over here and take another look. I'll do it that way so I can still kind of get some light over there. Um. All right, think, Riz, think. I feel like I'm missing something. Another object or something. Because if I take this across, I just die. Aha, still have enough light to get across now. Cool. Try using the right side of your brain, if you have one. Now I can light this up. And take this guy. I knew I'd get it eventually. <laughs> Alright. Ah, you found a solution. Uh huh. Excellent. Uh -huh. You'll leave, and I'll be able to focus. Alright, what does this one do? Ooh. Uh oh, that broke. Ah, oh, the bridge collapsed. That's why I don't trust you inspectors. I built it up to code to what was legally required of me, yet what good did it do? Let me figure out your options. I really don't have time for this. The new door will be open soon enough. A moment, Inspector. Yes, James. This is Virgil. I need him. James, calm down, James. Just punch something. We will find your cat later. This cat. I need details for a new evacuation route. The Inspector didn't make it across the bridge. It collapsed. Must have pushed the button too hard. Yes. Of course he's gonna blame uh, me. I thought so. Plan out the rest of the route and do it faster than last time. Goodbye, James. Inspector, the door is open. Uh -huh. Run along now. Seems too easy. I wanna go out there. Alright, alright. There's no way to get that lamp? Seems like there's not. Okay. Yikes. No. Okay, that's a that's a tight jump. It's like a little bit of platforming involved. Okay, definitely have to wait for it to be coming towards me. And then move with 
this one. And go. Cool. Okay. All right, Inspector. Your failure to push a button has resulted in a change of plans. You will be taking a detour to another elevator. Now, show some gratitude for the amount of effort I put into keeping you alive. Keep an eye out for James's cat, Lux. James wants to know that he's safe. You see, James can't function properly when he's sad. That's interesting. I feel like I had multiple paths there. And... I'm curious now. What is this light for? Doesn't seem like I can really bring it anywhere. Bring it on here. How does this help me? Or does it? Hmm. I'm not sure. So now I have a light moving back and forth. I don't know if that's helpful at all. Why not? Let's leave that there and head back this way. Oh. It's a long, dark path. So that might be something that I need to figure out. Okay. Interesting. So that's definitely a thing. I feel like I'm going to need to get it on this platform or this platform. How could I go about doing that? Okay. Let's think. Let's grab this again. I mean, it can't be as simple as just like shining this over there. It's got to be on a moving thing somehow. How would I get it over there? I can't drop it down, can I? Oh, can I drop down with it, though? That's possible. Much like you, these machines work at a painfully yeah. slow pace. The difference is that they are being productive. Okay, we got a lamp. <laughs> we stole it. Oh. Okay, so now do I need to put it on this side? Like there? That seems like it might work. Does it come close enough? Listen, I have a limited All right, amount of I feel patience, good about that one. And this detour is exhausting it. Light matter demands my that? attention. So you'll be on your own for a little while. Just know that I admire your persistence. With everything you've been through, I would hate my life if I were you. Now, you'll survive as long as you stick to the green exit signs. Good luck. Green exit signs. I don't see one in this room. What is this thing? Oh, okay. We're going up. Oh, that looks trippy. What is that thing? Almost looks like a like some crazy large drill, like coming through the wall. All right, um, there's the exit. We have a button. Let's push the button. Got a platform. Um, okay, can I go over here? Yeah. So I need this light and. I'm 
not sure how this is going to work out. Maybe like this. And I can... Mm. Okay, not what I had in mind. Oh, and this stays lit so I can get back. Almost. Is there a button to send it back? Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm guessing if I die, I would get sent back. Can I make it? Okay, I made it. Um. I mean, I can just use this to, like, light that whole area. Where do I need that light? Probably somewhere over here, huh? So I need to get that across. So what happens if I just put it on here and take it with me? Nope. Okay. Interesting. Um, let's try... How'd you get back here? How do I want to handle this? Let's go take another look. So I need it to be over here. Like, on the platform would be fine. So, I wish there was a way to trigger that from far away. As far as I can tell, that's not a thing. So... One idea would be to put this here. Or maybe... Maybe closer to the edge? Am I going to be able to grab that on the way over? Probably not. That's not the move. Whoops! I slipped. Okay, so what happens now if I push this? Okay, it only makes it that far. Interesting! Come back. Oh, I can do it at any time. I don't know if that is helpful or not. So... Let's go back across. Anything stick out at me? It seems like I need to get it over here somehow. How do I do that without getting killed? Huh. Is there anything else I'm missing? What's that? That's nothing. Hmm. I can't just like place this way over here, right? It's not going to be enough light. I didn't think so. Come back, platform. I have an idea. I have an idea. Have this go backwards. I feel like that might be it. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm thinking with my brain.
It's over here. Ooh. Interesting. So I immediately saw this path and I'm like, okay, that's the way to the exit. And then I looked over here and I'm like, oh, what's this over here? It looks like a, like it could almost be a secret path. But now looking at that, what I thought was the exit, it looks like this is the intended way to go. I'm like, dang, what do I do? Do I take the top secret path? Or do I follow the main path? Looks like I only had one option. I like how everything has a little bit of a reddish hue to it now. Sneaking around. What do we got? Oh. All right. Does this do the same thing? It sure does. All right, so I have to figure out a way to get that light across here. That's a big jump. That's a fine jump. I can do that no problem. So, is there a way to light up? I mean, that should be okay, right? Hmm, but the light's blocked from this side. Unless I can walk across like the ledge, but that seems crazy. Oh, there's also platforms down there, it appears. No worries, creator. Okay. Oh, my light out. Oh no, it was back there. Interesting. Ugh. So I have to figure out a way to light up both the path to the middle and across to the right. And wait, can I just set that down here? Well, that doesn't really help me. Unless... Oh, I need to put it on that one. That's interesting. Oh wait, oh wait. So that would get me across, but I 
think I need to do it more like this. Wait, okay, so if that one across there is going to be my exit path, that means that this light will be over here. So, yeah, I would need to shoot. It still stayed straight across, right? Yeah, I think I think that'll work. I second guess myself when I shouldn't have. And then All right, now my path's still lit. And I'm across. And then I can get my light back. That's cool. We got two lights. We got two directions we can go. I feel like I want to go up eventually, so let's go this way first. Is there anything of use over here? Did not mean to jump over that. <laughs> Alright, so it didn't look like there's anything over here, but I want to look through those fans. Nothing. Okay. Uh, yeah, nothing over here. So we'll put one there-ish, and then, oh, interesting. That's why I can go both ways. I need to make it big, get all the way to the top. Then I can grab this one and bring it up with me. All right. That got me all the way to the top. There appears to be nothing this way. And that one can get me that way. What do we got? Ellen here. I don't know what to do. Ellen, I was sleeping in the lab when suddenly I felt something on my head. I open my eyes, and Arthur is standing over me, in the dark. Arthur, you're a creep. Holding a vial. Before I could do or say anything, he just said, it's for the better. What? Mm. How exactly is pouring liquids into my hair for the better? I wish I'd said that. Yeah, I don't but know about I this was. Arthur guy. Arthur, the CTO of White Matter Technologies. The man I spent years working with. The man I am helping to save the world. Oh man. I could barely recognize him. So there's a lot of lights and a lot of buttons. Let's try to put that there and spin it and see what happens. path this way is that helpful can I do anything with this no okay, so there's nothing in here that seems to be useful Let's try putting that one there and spin that and see what that does. I mean, that gives me access to this one over here. Is that all I needed? Oh, I want it to be over there or something. That's interesting. Alright, so let's try and put this like here. And then give it a spin. I was on the right track, I think. <laughs> Alright, let's get it back. Alright, so more like was that stuff over there supposed to be like a hint to line stuff up? That looks more better. Looks much better. 
All right. I can't stop Arthur. Nobody believes a man of that status would poison people like that. And apparently, losing my hair at the age of 31 isn't proof enough. I need to take more drastic measures. Shoot. Okay, so I need to get another one of those lights across somehow. So if I put this here, and then spin the whole thing around, oh. Yeah, that, that'll be fine. I can go across. Oh, now that's not lit. And there's no way to spin it from here. Shoot. So they both need to be in place. Oh man, my brain. <laughs> Alright, let's try and put that one on here, maybe? That'll let me get no, only halfway still. Interesting. Is there another way through here? Nope. Can I interact with that? Nope. Okay, I have another idea. Take this one, make it point the other direction at the lamp that's on there now. That way that path is always lit. Take this one off, spin it again, and then put this one, hmm, let's get the other one too. This one can go there-ish. Oh wait. I literally have both of them here. I'm like, I need to spin it again. No, I don't. I have them. Okay. We're good. We're good. Overcomplicating things again. And boom. But if I need another one, then I'm confused. All right. I think we're going down. How did you get all the way over there? Magic. Well, impressive. You realized how much of a waste of time you are and took a shortcut. You're much closer to the elevator. So well done, Inspector. Now, you're not supposed to be in that part of the facility, but never mind. You will be taking what you see here to your grave. Don't worry, it's just a standard non-disclosure agreement. All right, I got an achievement for that one. Making progress. All right, let's throw these lamps over here. Put them together and see what this button does. Raises a lift. Ooh, what are those? It's not a button. All right, let's try and put one of these on here. You must have gone through the ventilation chambers. Wait, oh. did you wear a breathing mask? 
Interesting. So those are reactive those to light. Are littered with microcrystalline particles. Expected, since they are the I see. of light matter technologies. But instead of focusing on the years of life you've just lost, let's focus on the happy fact that your shortcut saved us uh, a couple of hours. All right. So this one needs to be open so I can get here. Then the other one needs to be open to get through here. Well, how can I be in two places at once? Oh, there's a button up there too. And I can go up there. Huh. But I don't really have access to anywhere else other than another button to see what's happening. Fascinating. You can it understand is. my technology even though your brain is slowly decaying from crystalline particle poisoning. Poison. I don't like poison. Okay, so I can't get that across either. Hmm. That's weird, the camera follows me too. Never noticed that before. Okay. So, can I just move this to a position where it hits both lights? Mm, maybe. Push that down. There it is. Okay. Okay. That makes a whole lot of sense. Inspector. I admire competence, and you've shown some. So let me tell you a bit about my technology. The panels that you've lit up to power machinery, those are the photon power cells. You see, my former partner, Arthur, designed this part of the facility. And when he did, he used primitive copper for wiring. Once I increased the voltage, it melted. So I bypassed that idiocy by retrofitting doors, lifts, etc. with photon power cells. Those power cells function as both energy converters and switches. Clever, but you'll realize their true purpose once light matter makes its way into the world. So we have four buttons that all do the same thing. I thought I was going to get squ squished. Just oh, five buttons. They all do the same thing. Alright, so that lights up the exit. So I feel like that needs to be there. Unless there's somewhere down here that it would also work. Very possible. I'm going to bring the light with me just to see. Because I'm skeptical that it's that simple. And there's other buttons. Okay. Interesting. You know, when Arthur's wiring overloaded, I was fortunate enough to get stuck in an elevator with my engineers. But I make the most out of bad situations, so we had an hour-long conversation. Much like this one. I talked and they listened. Oh, right. Like that. Push that. Take it again. Going down. Wait, what did that one do? 
over here. Oh, another light. Okay. Okay. That'll come in handy. I'm assuming I don't need that one anymore. Look at you, managing those lamps. Heck yeah. I know that being in charge can feel incredible, but this is sad. Okay. You stay there. You go there. And then I'll take this one. Nope, we want to go up with it. So, that off, bring that down, and then put this one on here and go back up. And then this one can light that one. And then I go back down. Alright, you did something. Inspector, let me enlighten you. To invent, you need a good imagination and a pile of junk. Conventional solar cells were a pile of junk until I got my hands on them. I improved upon them using photon crystals and created photoelectric cells that were actually efficient. Of course, when I succeeded, a cabal of my competitors, journalists and windmill enthusiasts formed to try to undermine my achievements. Why did I expect any different? Competing with me is like an ant competing with a boot. Overwhelming. This guy is pretty grumpy. <laughs> so I know that's going to need to be like there eventually. So maybe I got ahead of myself. Take that one, put that there. There we go. Oh, I need to bring a light with me. This one? Hmm. Uh oh. by opening and closing that door. Is this the first time you've held real power in your hands, Inspector? He's mocking me. Interesting.
I can't move that one though, because then that door will close again. Oof. Allow me to clear away any doubts you might have about my photon power cells. For my initial test, I took an elevator to the top of the mountain on a sunny day. I had a coffee machine in each hand. One powered by a solar cell, the other powered by my photon cell. Within one minute, I was drinking delicious black photon cell powered coffee. It tasted like victory. Stumped on this one. Maybe something like that that I can kind of see both. doesn't help because I can't move it. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Whoa. 